I pretty much got scammed by my friend. Everyone loves Chloe Morello. Love her so much. She recently exposed on Instagram Live an ex-friend who had stolen from her and scammed her. Now, I didn't manage to record the entire live stream, but I managed to get most of the saucy details. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Stuff, and I could see that it was all my stuff. I turn around one of the perfumes because I was like, if this perfume has my name on the back, let me show you this perfume. So Chloe sent me this perfume that had my name engraved on the back for Christmas. Oh, don't worry, I don't think she represents you. I'm saying she's not religious, but that's why she came to Australia for Christmas. Because she didn't celebrate Christmas. Anyways, so my name was on the back and she didn't realize because it was a Chloe perfume that it was mine. So she nicked it, I turned it around, like Chloe doesn't send that out like that. I knew it was mine. Nick took it back immediately. <sighs> And I hightailed it out of there, went downstairs, got my bag, left, called Nina. I was like, what the hell do I do? She was like, bitch, get out of there. So I ran, I went back to London. I stayed in a dodgy motel and I got bed bugs. I might've actually got it from her house. We will never know. Anyway, I had to pay $1,700, 1,700 pounds or something like that. Maybe it was dollars to get all my bags fumigated. It was the worst start to a holiday ever. But anyway, I ended up having a lot of fun with Nina. And I never, I did speak to her again. She messaged me and she's like, babes, where'd you go? Why aren't you here? And I was like, I left because you stole all my stuff, you crazy person. <sighs> so yeah, it was really sad um, that that happened because she was my friend and it sucked but at least I'm not friends with her anymore. We had money, spent money to go to Marbella together. And it was really awkward because I was like, you have to pay me back for that. But her family didn't know that she was going. So she hadn't told her family that she was, she never told her family that we were like going out, traveling, um, going partying and stuff like that. And so I was like, you need to pay me back. And I messaged her brother and I was like, we had tickets to go to Marbella and she needs to pay me the fuck back. And so her brother DM me money. She probably got in big trouble because they didn't know that she was like partying and stuff. I repeated the story because there are now like 500 more people here that didn't hear it. And they were like, what's the story? So I had to tell it. But yeah, anyway, I pretty much got scammed by my friend and she stole from me. And then after that, I did a post saying like, oh my God, this girl stole from me. Like I was just at her house and it was so scary like all my stuff was in her house and then I got quite a few DMs from people that I had met through her saying that they did the same thing to her like her other friends some people even said that she faked far out how deep should I go in this someone her friends even told me that she once lied and said that she was assaulted by a taxi driver when she was drunk and then she took it back she was like full crazy so scary and it's just crazy because i was friends with her for like four years i'm like i didn't even know this person she was so nice to my face and then she was stealing all my stuff i just filled in a little bit yeah she's like full joanne the scammer crazy anyway i'm not friends with her anymore so that's okay i have good friends now no she wasn't a makeup artist she was a follower of mine and it sucks because we're really good friends we did heaps of stuff together. <sighs> Anyways, the SNARS blush. So yeah, I've been scammed by my own friends twice. Yeah, I don't normally talk about her. I've considered doing a story time about her so many times, so I guess count this as my story time because I probably won't do videos about that. But yeah, I'm really glad I found out. I hope she's doing well, but I hope she stopped scamming people because seriously, what the heck? Don't you have a headache to talk so long? No. <laughs> I'm not telling you who it was because maybe she's changed now. You know what I mean? Like, I do not believe in this cancel culture stuff. So I do not wish bad for her at all. <laughs> Even though I said fuck that bitch before. <laughs> no, hopefully she's changed because I really believe people can change. How many times forgive people? No, I don't forgive her. She hasn't said sorry. 
She never admitted to it. I don't forgive her, I just forget it. Like I literally never think about it, I just thought it'd be a fun story to tell you. <laughs> the time I got burned. Now she also exposed Dolce & Gabbana and shaded Kat Von D, which was seriously hilarious and everyone was laughing their heads off in the comments section. Should we go over to my lipstick drawers? So, these ones. That's Dolce & Gabbana, we don't fuck with them anymore. Bye. That can go in the Kat Von D pile. Um. Tom Ford. So this one is, I don't like Kat Von D because she doesn't believe in vaccinating her kids. Plus it's just not my vibe. Dolce & Gabbana said horrible racist things about Chinese people. Yeah, if you look up what Dolce & Gabbana, I think it was Stefano Gabbana. He said um, that he said something very rude, like very racist. It was pretty gross. I, I can't remember what it was, but I was like, that asshole, you know? Not, it was not cool. It's hard because brands, it depends. Hmm, I don't know. I liked their makeup, but I mean, I don't know. I don't know if they apologized yet. I have to look and see, I don't know. Not into that. Can brands stop being problematic, please? because I really don't want anything bad to happen to Dior. In other news, as of Tuesday, March the 5th, Kylie Jenner allegedly became the youngest self-made billionaire ever, or so Forbes had reported. Fans went off in the comments section of Forbes's Twitter post. Tyler Oakley had posted, we're not doing this and you aren't either. Trixie Martel had posted, girl, this is tea. Jeffree Star, can the real self-made billionaire please stand up? Millionaire trust fund kid who was given every opportunity leverages that lottery win to become even wealthier. Please define self-made. A company she started off the back of money made from her own family and having a social standing several million above ours. Now it's pretty funny because Jeffree Star had actually responded to the drama on Twitter by stating this. I declined the feature so they had to pick someone. This self-made title is very controversial and many have claimed that she's not self-made because she's benefited off the success and fame of her family name. What are your thoughts? Do you think she's self-made? Let me know in the comments down below. Now this wasn't the only tea Jeffree Star spilt. Oh no 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 no. He also recently took to Snapchat and pretty much exposed what's going to be in the new upcoming Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star documentary series. So today I'm finally cleaning out my beauty room. We're donating, we're throwing away expired makeup and uh... Just, there's so much here. Oh my god, what am I gonna do? Okay, today's been crazy, you guys. Shane just left my house. He helped me clean, organize, and get rid of over a million dollars in makeup. Um, it was fucking crazy. The dump truck was here. We had hazmat suits on. Uh, I don't even know what happened. It was insane. Um, y'all y'all know we filmed it all. It was fucking gnarly. Um, long overdue. I am your hoarder and uh, Shane Dawson is my sponsor. So even if it is just a small snippet of what their next documentary is going to look like, it's still really interesting. We already know that Shane and Jeffrey are coming out with a Morphe palette collaboration, so that's definitely another teaser to their new documentary series that everyone is so excited for. Now a little bit off topic, but some last juicy drama to end your day, it appears even YouTubers have trouble with Tinder. Would you believe? James Charles recently called out Tinder on Twitter, and I quote, Hey Tinder, can you please stop deleting my account that I'm paying for? Maybe if your customer service that I've emailed four times didn't fucking suck, we could have avoided this. A fan had commented, I don't know how true this is, but I think you can get verified on Tinder. It is true. I've been verified before on this exact account, which is why I'm even more confused. I don't want a blue check mark. It leads to very uncomfortable conversations and me not knowing people's true intentions. God damn, Tinder, get your act together. Anyway, that's all for this investigation. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, my social media will be linked down below, and I'll see you guys in our next investigation.